my goodness. <laughs> Uh, it's Mama Do Dawn, and today I'm in the same sweater that I've been in in my last few videos, but I am in my basement of my rental house, and as you can see, there's a ton of stuff back there, because um, in the middle of this last year, I thought I was going to earn a bunch of money by buying out an estate sale, so I bought out this estate sale, which was just a ton of antiques and just a ton of stuff in general, and uh, I haven't really sold all of it yet. I've sold about half of it, and I've kind of probably grossed a hundred dollars, not grossed, net a hundred dollars. So I made a hundred dollars in profit. So the rest of the things that I sell are going to be straight profit. And if you watched my previous videos, you know that I am in a lot of financial trouble right now. So I have to make a lot of money and I have to make a lot of money fast. So my goal for today is I have dropped Charlotte off at my mother's who bless her heart is going to babysit her today. Oh, I got Mitzi down here. Say hi Mitzi. She's like, why are you doing this to me? Oh, I love my kitty cat. Okay, so what was I talking about again? I was talking about selling everything in this basement. Okay, so my goal for today is since Charlotte is at her grandma's, I'm going to organize everything into different lots that I can sell. I want to organize things um, into a lots that I can sell on eBay, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Etsy, Craigslist, you name it. I'm going to separate it all and then I am also going to do a few boxes of consignment shop lots, things that I want to take to consignment shops. Basically larger items that are going to be really hard to ship are probably going to go to consignment lots. So that's my goal for today and I'm just going to let you guys kind of follow along. Um, a lot of these things are crap so I need to find out a way to just sell Crap. Like it's a lot of things that are probably not worth a lot of money. I'm going to take you through a tour real quick Then you're just going to watch as I attempt to sort all of these things into lots that I will be able to sell So in this corner, oh, I'm going to back it up uh, We have a bunch of holiday stuff a ton of Christmas stuff and I'm a huge holiday person So I'll probably end up keeping a few of these things and then there's Halloween and Thanksgiving stuff I already sold all my Easter stuff because it is close to Easter. We got a bunch of boxes over here all right, so a bunch of this stuff is like a disaster. It's messed up because I've been looking through it. A um, bunch of fabrics and things. I don't even know. Home decor items. And a ton of glassware. Um, a lot of crystal, actually, which is really nice. My cat being nutso. And just a bunch of home decor. And then I have all of these lots of, like, cups, I guess. Um, also some things over here, wrapping paper, just more random things. Seriously have no idea how I'm going to split this all up yet or how I'm going to get a lot of these things into lots that I'm going to be able to sell. I think I'm going to start by organizing things into lots that I can sell locally on Facebook Marketplace. So a ton of items that are just going to go in like a big lot and they'll sell for like 10 bucks. a break to pet my Mipsy. Kind of stressing out because it's taking like a lot of mental energy to figure out what like I can pack together that'll actually sell to people. I'm trying to do lots that make sense like a bunch of candle holders together and a bunch of glassware together and certain decor items like I have strawberry themed and flower themed and putting all those things in one box. She wants attention. It's just really exhausting right now, and I'm already like stress level 10, so I'm like shaky from just anxiety of knowing that I really only have this house for another month before I can't pay rent, 
and I know that they're not evicting people right now during the coronavirus, but just to kind of like save face and have a good relationship with this landlord. Um, so then when I can afford another place, I can use them as a reference. I do plan on leaving this house by the end of the month and having it all clean and ready to go to where they can rent it out to someone else because I can't afford it. So I'm trying to get the place cleaned up and so April 1st I can kind of give my 30 day notice and know that I have 30 days to get everything out. And I'm just stressing out right now because I have a lot of stuff to get rid of and not a lot of time to do it and it's at a time where people really aren't spending money and definitely not buying things like on Facebook Marketplace. All the consignment shops are closed so I'm just hoping like maybe they'll reopen things for like a week and I can get things sold. I understand the importance of the quarantine. I'm quarantining myself and Charlotte. My whole family is taking it seriously and I don't want them to open it up before it's really necessary. Hello Mipsy. But right now I do need to like get things sold. So I'm trying really hard to like figure out ways that I can sell a bunch of things at one time in big lots. And if I can just get like 20 or 30 lots of things that I'm selling for $10 each, you know, that's like $200, $300, which will definitely help right now. I'm just trying to like get it together and it's kind of exhausting. And I'm stressed. So my allergies are super bad right now from all the dust, but I have decided rather than trying to just focus on everything, I'm going to focus on one item at a time. I'm literally just going to pick up one item, find a box that I can put it in and move on to the next item. If it doesn't match anything, it's just going to go in a miscellaneous box or a box of its own that I think I can match things with later. Okay, so I have a few lots together that I think will sell decently, so I'm going to go ahead and just take those upstairs now, just to kind of get them out of the way, clear room so I can start <laughs> Okay, we're starting to get things clear here. Some things off the ground. And here are the lots upstairs that I have with just different things categorized into boxes to sell on Marketplace. I'm like out of breath from going up and down the stairs. It's really hard to stay motivated and continue clearing everything out. But I did get quite a few things off the ground, so now it's just time to move on to the next thing. Okay, so I've been working most of the morning. It's around noon. I'm just like really shaky today. It's hard to focus with anxiety, but I have quite a few things up here now. So I'm going to try to go ahead, go through all these things, get each box like a picture of the stuff inside to list on Facebook Marketplace. I have a few little kitchen things right there. And while I am upstairs doing that, I'm gonna order some food on DoorDash to have it delivered just because like I feel like maybe if I eat, it'll help. I think part of my jittery, shaky feeling is from caffeine from a few cups of coffee that I probably shouldn't have had this morning. So I'm gonna order some food, see if that helps like the jittery, out of breath feeling. And it's like shortness of breath is one of the symptoms of coronavirus. I swear I don't have it. I've been like totally quarantined, but just the anxiety really gets to me and I start to get really short of breath when I start worrying about everything. And I'm trying to get everything done in like a day, which is never possible, but I'm getting as much done as I can. And I have to keep reminding myself of that, doing as much as I can, give myself a break. I'll order some food, I'll sit down and eat it here in a minute, and in the meantime, while the delivery is going on, I'm going to go ahead and photograph as many things as I can to list on Marketplace. Here's just a set of like gold and white home decor that I'll probably sell for $5. Some silver home decor I'll sell for 
bunch of fruit themed home decor I'll probably sell for like $10. Some wedding decor items I'll probably sell for $5. Tons of candle holders and candles that I'll probably sell for $10. Strawberry home decor I'll probably sell for $5. To floral home decor I'll probably sell for $15. More floral home decor items I'll probably sell for $10. Some black and silver home decor I'll probably sell for $5. Some little beach themed decor that'll probably sell for $3. Bunch of glassware and china dishes I'll try to sell for $15. And now I'm just going to take a break and eat and think about what to do next and start in on that once I'm finished eating. And now I've brought up glassware and I am just going to sit down and try to organize it into some lots I can sell. And we're finally starting to see some clear space in the basement, which is awesome. I think I'm gonna be done down here for today. I'm just gonna organize the glassware up there and then start getting everything listed on Marketplace. All right guys, so I got all of the glassware organized. Now I'll just take you through the lots. Um, I'm just gonna quickly videotape each lot and each one is gonna go from anywhere between like 10 and five and $10. chill I am exhausted and I'm just gonna sit on my phone and list a bunch of things on marketplace hope that people come get them